were there changes that you and or your wife made in this process that kind of improved your own money smarts, either purposefully to be better models or that you just learned in talking to your kids that you've kind of incorporated into your life? Yeah. Uh, the first thing that pops into my mind would be around generosity and giving. I would say in right around the time that we became mortgage free, you know, I was talking to my kids about the importance of using some of your money to give and support causes that you believe in and help people who need help. And with that, I had a little introspection and saying, well, how much am I actually giving? How much am I, you know, and if I say, hey, you should put a dollar of your $3 in your give jar, am I even coming close <laughs> to anything remotely close to that? Even though I say how important it is. And I did a little calculation and we were giving like 1% of our money. And there's there's nothing wrong with that. But based on my, you know, lecturing, you know, the, <laughs> that I... I really should have been modeling a little bit better. So, but for us at the time, even though we were doing well financially, it wasn't super easy just to say, well, let me jump from 1% to 10%. Let me just do that real fast, you know, because you you got a lot of other things that are going on in life and a lot of uh, ways that you're utilizing your money. Um, so for us at that point, I got inspired to say, what can I do to sort of ladder up our giving so that I can be a good model to my children when I say, hey, it's important to give a portion of your money. So we tried our best to go from 1% and then slowly move up. So in year one, we were at 1%. Year two, we got up to 3%. And then year, uh, year three, we got up to 5%. So we just sort of jumped a 2% points each year with regard to our giving. And then as we were doing that and those experiments, we kind of found different ways that we liked giving more than other ways. We said, well, you know, yes, it's important to give to charities and causes that we believe in. And uh, throughout that process, we found a lot that really called to our hearts. But then we also said, well, we love giving generously to family and friends, you know, like what can we do to maybe amp up the type of gift that we would say, uh, that we would give to maybe a nephew or niece that's interested in investing for their first time. Wouldn't that be cool to buy their first full share of an ETF <laughs> when they want to start their Roth IRA? So we said, okay, well, let's, let's put some of that money towards things like that. Or if we attend a wedding, wouldn't it be cool, cool to give like a really big gift, you know, really a really generous gift. So we, we felt like, okay, yeah, it's important to give to charities and causes, but yeah, we also want to give to family and friends. 